Nicholas. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I heard somebody say we love you, Peter, but I know that's French for Ray. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a great show. The handsome people from The Young and the Restless, the top soap opera in all of television, representing soap operas against the top game show in all of daytime television. The Price is Right, headed by Bob Barker. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> we've, lost, we've lost one of the players. Doug Davidson, I don't know if you caught it, he left the stage. In, he's coming back. <laughs> we want a urine sample. <laughs> We think this thing, they, they win too many games, we would like a urine sample. <laughs> He's passing the cup. <laughs> Give me that back. <laughs> then let me just explain, if you just tuned in, why you saw that little outburst by Doug Davidson. This is, this is the fifth and final version of The Young and the Restless against The Price is Right, and you've pretty much humiliated them four games in a row. Well, we, we, have, we have been... Uh, you're on the street. Fortunate. No, Fortunate. you've been, I gotta say, and even the young and the red, you've been stupendous, have they not? They have you you must give your opponents a nice, right? it's killing you, but, yeah. oh, Melody, give it up, Melody. What, how did you play so well? That's amazing. We, if we knew, we would sell instruction books. We don't know. Uh, we were talking about it after the last show, and uh, it, it is, it is utterly me. I knew that my beauties would be good at this game. I knew it. But I had no idea that they would be absolutely magnificent, which they, they have been. They truly, truly have been. And you've got all your beauties here today. Yes. Handsome Rod is out, but tell everybody who you brought. Handsome Rod is not here, but I will say this. United Activists for Animal Rights has a place on their scroll of honor for Diane Parkinson, Janice Pennington, Holly Hallstrom, and Kathleen Bradley. As they should, because you have been a great team. And activists for animal rights might get another $5,000, but I'll tell you what, this team is not going out of here skunked, as we say in Ohio. <laughs> it is the Young and the Restless, headed by Doug Davidson. Yeah. Doug, that's right. We're, we're not going to be skunked. We're not going to be skunked, although most of us are wearing black and white. Okay. I that's to hide the blue, because you're black and blue from the beating you've taken. You play Paul Williams on the Young and the Young Restless. Young and the Restless. I brought here Jeannie Cooper, K I Chancellor. I urine samples. We're all sick. Peter Barton plays Scott Granger. Yes. Melody Thomas Scott. Yes. Melody Thomas Scott, Nikki Newman Abbott. Yes. Trisha Cass plays Nina Chancellor. Now, now let me just see. Do this very quickly, because we want to get into the feud. It is at, it's your charity today, is it not down here, Tricia? Yes, it now, is. Now, you're playing for the Activist for Animal Rights, well, I think. we should be, though. Who are you playing for? Another great charity. Uh, we're playing Options House of Los Angeles. They take in uh, uh, displaced teenagers and counsel them and their families, and they take care of uh, teenagers. Who it's a great them. charity. You might get the $5,000, but to do it, you got to beat the prices right. To do that, we got to play the feud. Come on, Bob. Slap the button yet, so why don't you slap the button? It's fair. Come on, Tricia. Don't worry. You can't do any worse than Dutch than <laughs> The first team to $300 is going to play for $5,000. You want to pay attention to the first question. We have the top six answers on the board, but we asked it of 100 women. You try to find the most popular answer, but remember, we ask 100 women. Name something that goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. Bob, what the women say? She has problems with her makeup. Can't get her makeup on properly. Uh, Not up there. Trisha, do you know what our women said? Something that goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. She broke a nail. See, uh, women might know that. She broke a nail. Did that make the survey? Uh, no. Don't move. Now we go to Diane. Something, we ask 100 women, something that goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. Um... Uh, uh, you can... Oh, I got one now. You've got a run in your hose. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you have a, a run in your hose. Yes. Number one. Yes, Think of a steal. Yes, right if you have just tuned in, right she right has there. one. From, from your mic. From, from your my mic? mic? Not from my mic. My oh, mic is here. <laughs> She's got a, she says, I got a run in my hose from your mic. So from the thing they put around you, Well, I want to say... That's what I was trying to say. It didn't happen. But if you did just tune in today, this is indicative of the way this team has played. This girl has not given a wrong answer in five days. And I mean, truly, truly. Well, I don't know. 
I don't know if it's holes, whatever made you say it, it was the correct answer. I thought about that upstairs just now. I had nothing to do with it. Don't write me letters. We well, ask 100 women something that goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. Oh, gosh. Your um, no, what? Take a guess. Say no. Uh, your hair doesn't work right. Okay, no, no, no I think we understand that. Women don't your like it when their hair... Jean's looking at me, but I think it could be that. Your hair just doesn't work with you. Oh, yeah. Hair won't do hair. Okay. Very good. Holly? Um, your hair doesn't work because your curling iron breaks. Your curling iron is broken. Oh, no. Come on, Kathleen. Come on, Kathleen. I know this one. Believe me, it happens to me all the time. The baby starts crying. Yeah. You can really mess your day up when yes. the baby starts crying you and you don't have ready. one. Let me right. see. The baby, the baby starts crying. Oh. That could be your bank. A moral victory, but you can take it up. We've got four answers left. Something goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. Hundred women. Um, there's no hot water. Okay. Could be there. No hot water. Bam! <laughs> Put the pressure on her. Think of the steel. Goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. All right, give me a sec. Oh, it's okay. God. 100 what women. Happens, what happens to women? Goes wrong. Okay. Getting ready um, for the day. Three seconds. <gasps> okay. What? Okay, I got it. What? I think I got it. What is it? Well, you get a stain somewhere. A stain, stain somewhere. Stain. You feel something on your clothes. That's stain right. Stain on your clothes. Stain. Thank you for identifying stain. it as a clothing <laughs> article. Stain <laughs> on your clothes. Don't slap me now. <laughs> clothes article. Stain. She's never missed. She's never missed. Janice, what do you say? Oh, uh, let's see. That's, that's too long of an answer, maybe. Uh, the phone rings and it makes you late. Somebody calls and makes you late. You're late. The phone rings. I tell you. This is beginning to be a little frightening, you know? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to move over a little bit. I don't know what this is. It's very scary, but you should see it from their side, Bob. <laughs> All right. You said phone. I said the phone. Holly, it's going to be a big lead if you give me the last stand. It goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. Um, I, uh... Three seconds. Um, the, 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 someone stops by. Unexpectedly, oh, somebody answer. stops oh, by? Yeah. No. Now, it's their bank, unless you know. Something that goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. Hundred women, Tricia. The car won't start. Car won't start. Melody? Ah, uh, your clothes are too tight. You've gained weight. You've gained weight. Your clothes are too tight, Peter. You forget something. Your purse. Yeah, something. Thank you, Peter. You forget something. Yeah. You well, you can't. Ray, I'm just going to get out of here if you don't mind. <laughs> you're committed now, Doug. Time to start this, baby. Listen to me, cowboy. Cowboy, you can go with them or on your own. What do you think? Tell me. You can't find your keys. You know, you know, Doug, I've seen a lot of guys do a lot of things to get a single shot of themselves, but this is, you know, I'm down here, there's no way we can be in this together. Three seconds, Doug. The car, the car won't start. Okay, so he's stuck with the car won't start. But oh, I Jeannie, said that. Jeannie said she wanted to say keys. $64 coming over here if the car won't start. The price is right. It's the first bank. You said to get your keys. The question is phrased, something that goes wrong while you're getting ready for the day. Our women said number four. No alarm, so you overslept. Nobody said it. We're coming right back with a lot more beauty fun. This is a grudge. Don't go away. Here we go. We ask 100 people this question. I can't think. I know. You're not the first girl to use that line close to me. Here we go. Listen carefully. We're having fun. I'm speeding up, I swear. Here we go. As you're walking up to your house, name something that might tell you that your house has been broken into. Doug? The door's open! Doug says the door is open. Number one. It's going to steal. Now, this has turned into a real feud. This has turned into something real. This is unbelievable. Jeannie. I've never seen this much energy except at a World Wrestling Federation match. <laughs> and as you're walking up to your house, something that might tell you that your house has been broken into. Uh, uh, you, uh, the dogs are barking. Okay, the dogs are barking. No, not there. Did it? My dogs are barking. I'd get rid of the dogs. Maybe you wouldn't be getting robbed. Yeah. <laughs> Peter? 
Windows broken. The windows yeah. are broken. <laughs> Number two, here comes the price is right. Come on, Melody. Come on. How about uh, some of the things they've stolen are like strewn out on the water? They're having a the yard floor. sale at your home. <laughs> Not there. Not there. Tricia, when you walk up to your house, it might tell you that your house has been broken into. I don't know. <laughs> Why did I feel you were going to say that? Um, how about the lights are on? They're left on. Lights are on. Bam! Here we go. Come on, Doug. No. Can you read that one more something, time? When you're walking up to your house, name something that might tell you that your house has been broken into. Oh, how about um, Three seconds. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, things are missing? Did he do it in time, Judge? Okay, that's three strikes. It's your bank, $90. If you know, when you're walking up to your house, name something that might tell you your house has been broken into. The alarm's going off. Alarm is going off. The police are there. Police are there. Yeah. Someone's coming out of your Someone's house. Someone's coming out. Police are there. there. Uh, alarm's going off. Diane? I would say that the uh, door lock is broken. The door lock is broken. Now, you tell Bob one of those three answers that'll steal you the bank. Uh, well, let me ask this. Is, is the door lock broken? Is that door is open? Is that the same answer? Is that the same thing? No, it's not the same. All right, door lock broken. He goes with the door lock is broken. 90 bucks coming here if we see the door lock broken. She's kind of unbelievable. Really, kind of unbelievable. You didn't even confer with them on that. Well, no, they, one of them suggested. No, that's that's no, amazing. No, one of them. You, well, you, you, you did it very strong. Very great. Two answers would have got you the bank over there. Number five. Door unlocked. And number six. Window open. When we come back, will the young and the restless get in this game? $5,000 after these messages. Leave it to me. A whole crowd of... We're back. This is unbelievable. The price is right. $154. Young and the Restless. Zero. Here we go. We are doubling this dollar value. Price is right. Can win. The price is right. We'll win. Thank you. Settle down. Norman Vincent Pilette. Here we go. The top six answers are on the board. Which one is it? Here's... <laughs> Here's the question. <laughs> I've never seen her any other way. Other than Johnny Carson, name someone who's had a late night talk variety show. Letterman. Let me see Letterman. Oh, right. We're moving. Think of a steal. Here we go. Here comes Y&R. Other than Johnny Carson, someone who's had a late night talk variety show. Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Number two, what do you say? Melody. Rick Dees. Yeah. I've heard of him. Rick Dees. Yeah. Same number of people that watch the show, three. Uh, <laughs> what's he going to do, not have me on? All right, here we go. Trisha, other than Carson, someone who's had a late night talk variety show. Jack Parr. Jack Parr. They can win, Doug. Merv Griffin. Merv Griffin. Yeah! Uh, one strike. Joan Rivers. Joan yeah. Rivers. Lovely lady. Bam. Peter, you got the lead. Late night talk variety show. Jay Leno. Jay Leno. Good. For the bank. Uh, Think of the steal. You can win the game. Melody, you can take the lead. Oh, boy. Uh, how about David Brenner? How about... David Brenner. If you can give me number four, you're going to play for $5,000. 100 people surveyed, other than Carson, someone who's had a late night talk variety show. Kathleen? Byron Allen. Byron Allen. Byron Allen. Byron Allen. Pat Sajak. Pat Sajak. There's one answer of our survey. Now, Bob, you tell him what to say. Well, I, I, my tendency would be go back further, but if they say Pat Sajak, who am I to argue with these right, if geniuses? It's there, if it's Pat there, Sajak. you're going to play for $5,000. What would you have said? I would, I would have said Steve Allen. Okay, but, but if Pat Sajak, Sajak is there, you're playing for 5000 bucks for the steal, the game, the sweep, the week. Show me Pat Sajak.
shock. I'm as much in shock as you are. I need two of your great players, Bob. Right? All right. When we come back, the price is right. Playing for the United Activists for Animal Rights with Catherine after this. Don't go away. $5,000 as we put 15 seconds on the clock we wish the price is right much luck Kathleen we ask 100 people these five questions name the busiest day of the year for long-distance calls Christmas a state that gets lots of snow Ohio there are several television networks in the US name one CBS something on a fire truck uh, fire engine a kind of leg that people eat uh, chicken turn around here that's fine <laughs> the busiest day of the year for long distance phone calls, you said? Christmas. Thank you, sir. What did the survey say? 42! Excellent answer. Lots of snow in the state of Ohio, you said. My home state. What did our survey say? Z Row. Never been there. Several television networks in the U.S. You said one was? CBS, our survey said, bam, 30. On a fire truck, you said there is a fire engine. Did our survey analyze it that way? What did the survey say? Zero. A kind of leg that people eat. You selected the popular chicken leg. Our survey said, 53 Kathleen. Back with your teammates. Unbelievable. Holly, you're 75 points from another $5,000. You look straight ahead as 20 seconds goes to the clock, revealing the wonderful answers given by Kathleen. We ask 100 people, name the busiest day of the year for long-distance calls. Uh, Mother's Day. A state that gets lots of snow. Um, Alaska. There are several television networks in the U.S. Name one. Uh, CBS. Right uh, again. NBC. Something on a fire truck. A uh, ladder. A kind of leg that people eat. Uh, drumstick? Oh, oh. Try again. Uh, pass. A leg that people eat. Uh, That's, you got four of the five to get 75. Turn around here. You passed on the last question. Here we go. I'm a vegetarian. She's a vegetarian. I don't eat legs. Well. <laughs> Too bad. Name the busiest day. <laughs> Wish I were a vegetable. Busiest day of the year. <laughs> we can edit that. The busiest day of the year. Oh, you're funny one. I don't know. The busiest day of the year for long distance calls, you said? Mother's Day, what did the survey say? Bam! 54, the number one answer, Mother's Day. A state that get lots of, gets lots of snow you like? Alaska. Boy, did 21 people say Alaska for $5,000? What did the survey say? Because of the price is right, have a great day on CBS. Thank you, Governor. Some of our cutting families will receive Mayberry Fun Chips, rainbow colored real chocolate baking chips to make baking fun for the whole family. Mayberry Fun Chips. Tupperware, the first name in freshness, has a fresh new look. Tupperware is listed in your directory white pages. Clean, polished, and protected finest silver, copper, and brass with Oneida Rogers polishes. Quality that shines. Little Debbie snack cake. Great cake the entire family will enjoy. Buy the box or single pack. Little Debbie, America's number one snack cake. Max the box. Portable stereo AM FM. The set recorder is smart, very smart. Its turbo bass generator gives it great sound performance from Magnavox. From Television City in Hollywood, this is Teen Wolf speaking for Family Feud of Mark Goodson, television production.